Okay, uh, we're back again with another video on the Dodge Dakota. Um, uh, we need to replace a power steering pump and also we have to remove a front drive shaft because uh, as I mentioned last video that the Dakota has been having this rattling noise in the drive shaft. So, let's see if this car is open. Let's see if this car is open. No, it's not. Now it's open. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this truck into the shop once again, and uh, we'll go from there. Um, guys, I almost done goofed. Uh, while I was trying to put the Dodge Dakota into the, into the shop, I had my, I been driving it with the parking brake on. Screw me. Mistake, guys. All right, now you can see this dry shot that we're talking about clearly now. Remember what I said about the white stuff? That's what's causing the, the rattling noise when I drive the car. We're gonna try to take that out. Hopefully. Oh shit, hold on. Let me get took that. the drive shaft off. Let me get that piece out. Look at that. That is horrible. Yeah, we took removed the finally got the drive shaft off. Where's the drive shaft by the way? Here's the drive shaft that we were talking about. Right here. This piece right here that was starting to make that rattling noise on our side. This is where that's where the transfer case goes. And this is where the where it takes to the front diff. So yeah. Let me see if we're gonna try taking that out. Yeah, we'll go from there. It's broken right there, you bitch. Alright, that one's gonna be fun to get to. It broke? Oh, oh it's, it's fucking extended onto. We're gonna get it in. Yeah. Yeah, I have a punch one. Oh. <laughs> Alright, spin it to the next one. Alright, should we uh, hit that one once you once I'm able to get it in? Yeah. Did we tighten some of these screws so they don't fall off? Nah. I'm pretty sure it didn't come with these Yeah. Is this drivable? Like, yeah. Because like, that's uh, this is the this is basically so it's control on the front arm. That's where the all that's where the all wheel drive. This is where the all wheel drive. All wheel drive. drive. Shaft. The drive shaft in the back is everything still connected, so you can still go drive like a normal real wheel drive car. Okay. She just won't be able to drive four wheel. So, so she won't. We can't do nothing else to this vehicle until the parts is ordered. Yeah, don't don't take anything at the because all yeah, you need. The power steering pump comes today. We ain't doing. Yeah, she that. won't. The whoever owns the car won't be able to drive uh, off road with this thing. Right. So. Drive I mean, off road with you drive? Drive? You Well, I mean, you don't have the all wheel drive capabilities that this car. Extra speed. Had, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So we all we took taking out uh, the whole yokes out of the drive shaft. And, uh, hopefully we get out, we get a part for that. Of course we're all, we need to also wait for a power steering pump too. Because um, uh, last time I think the customer actually put them. I don't know, but uh, they had the power steering pump in the in the back seat of the, of the truck, but uh, we couldn't find it. So I don't know for some reason someone took it or something or whatever. We'll, we'll find out. All right, guys. Unfortunately, the, um, we weren't able to get this car fully fixed since uh, we do not have the replacement uh, power steering pump because for some reason we cannot find it anywhere. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this. Is that I don't know. This truck right here? I don't know. But uh, whatever it is. Um, gonna bring this truck out and park it and see if we have an undercar to fix um, for now the plus side though is as long as this guy does does not drive off-road all the time this thing is still drivable in two-wheel drive mode anyway so um, yep talk to you guys again soon well this Dakota is uh, done for now we have another Dakota to work on 
this one is a two-wheel drive and we need to get a this thing needs to have, have some new suspension and this one is locked so we are going to open it It smells weird in here. Ha! Huh. You guys remember these? Ha ha ha! I'm gonna open these just in case. Who remembers these things? Alright. Safety first. And, uh, yeah, here we go. All right, I'm gonna go bring this into the shop and we'll go from there. Dang, I felt some shorts coming out. I hope the nut didn't just fall in the Hey, frame. you think I got it? <laughs> I think you got it. There you go. Pull it, just hit it, pull it the front out. There you go. No, no, the, the bolt's oh. still in there. We're just taking out the shop out. That's all we're doing. We got the new ah! one in there. So we're gonna get that thing in here. And we're also gonna do the same thing on this shock over here. You guys don't know what the old shock looks like. Right there. And it's bad too. I can also push it down pretty easily. It's real hard to portray it in camera, but I am pushing it right now. There we go. Yeah. Ugh, that's a chore. That's a bad one. Yeah, that's the 05 Dakota is now on the alignment rack. We're just gonna set up a tow and then this thing will be ready to go. Okay, no rhymer right there. <laughs> no rhyme intended. As you can see, I am on top of the Dodge Dakota. I'm inside the Dodge Dakota right now. I'm on the lifter and the lifter is lifted up. And what my friends and my classmates and I are gonna be doing is we're going to do a steering check. We're gonna line this and then yep that's it so today we got two dodge dakotas done uh, we took the drive shaft out of that dodge dakota uh, which is an 01 dakota i believe yeah it's an 01 or an 02 forgot <laughs> um so we took we took uh, the drive shaft out of that dakota and uh, as if the, if the driver is not really going to be driving all-wheel drive mode on that thing, especially if he or she is going to go off-road very often, then I think this car is drivable. Well, I mean, the car is drivable in two-wheel drive mode, but you just can't, you're not able to use the four-wheel drive mode uh, when, you got, when you're going to go off-roading. So, uh, if the driver is not going to be, if the owner of this car is not going to do any off-roading, then it will be good to go. Um, and this Dodge Dakota over here, uh, this one is a two-wheel drive model. Uh, with this Dakota, we just had to re replace a two, two um, what was that? Shock absorbers in the back. So, yeah, we were we're all done with that. Um, well, and we also did a little tow alignment here, and then after that, we're probably gonna do a test drive, and then uh, maybe the next day, and then get that one a test drive on, on uh, next, and then um, yeah, hopefully, and we're all good to go. All right, guys, that is it. So we got to work on two Dakotas, a, an older one and a newer one.